Hello everyone, I am going to do a small tutorial on autopsy. This is version 4.4.1. Okay, first we are going to create a new case. Case name, <clears throat> I am just going to use the ever infamous Kaiser Solche and then I am going to save it in my passport drive target drive And the case number I'm going to just, just use case X1 and examiner my name finish. And then when this part comes up, select the type of data source to add. What we're going to do is just do local disk. Next. And then we are going to be examining this drive right here, test drive uh, in the D drive. And then keep that the same. This is our time time zone unless you are in another uh, time zone and then I can click next and you see everything um, on here you can uh, do a keyword search um, which we're going to look at and uh, has all these so I'm just gonna go ahead and select all click next and um, I'm just going to pause the video here this may take a while all right it is done it is done um, adding data and um, let me just click finish and um, let's see here you see right here has a different uh, what way it actually extracted from the drive in this case the USB drive that we're using our test drive let's see here right here see it has all these right here it even has the file types deleted files Let's, let's look at some deleted files. Let's see. See, I deleted this picture just for a test. See if it'll still come up. And then you can it has you can view it down here. As you can see in the bottom, it is still analyzing the file, so it's still uh, thinking about it, it's still putting some more files in it. So, until that is done, I am going to pause the video again. But as you can see, what we're gonna after it's done analyzing, you see it has uh, uh, deleted files and um, things of that nature. Um, but I'm just gonna pause it so we can actually dive more into what autopsy um, can do okay as you can see down here there's no uh, um, status bar anymore 
it's uh, done. It actually took a great deal of time. Um, let's see, now let's dive into what Autopsy 4.4.1, version 4.4.1 does. Alright, see, it uh, extracted uh, these items, it categorizes them by extension, uh, whether they're documents or executable files. Um, um, they also extract GIFs, and, uh, and the big one, it has deleted files on there. Let's just look at a few um, items that it actually um, extracted out of the uh, hard drive. Let's see. We can view it uh, two ways, either by tables where it just has the name on the file, the location, or you can do thumbnails, which shows actual pictures. See, so you can view the pictures. Um, same thing right here. The uh, click on this, the picture will show down here. Um, I can actually raise this up. Okay, you can view it. View the actual media indexed see um, JFIF that header means that it's a JPEG um, that it's actually a JPEG file and by this uh, strings there's JFIF again and then by hex JFIF that's a big thing um, uh, as you see JFIF you can tell if a file has been altered or the extension has been modified um, like it could say GPJ um, instead of J JPG for JPEG you can tell hex you can check the hex um, just to verify that the image is still the original image and, it's not, has, and it hasn't been modified okay you can see the horse horse right here crazy horse um, thumbnail view, dog smiling, and uh, let's see. Now we can also view some videos. Um, let's see here. These are the videos that are on here. Um, it's actually a video of me. Uh, go to media. Let's see, it's actually generating a thumbnail right now. But um, you can actually right click, open an external viewer. Hello class, this is the second part of the discussion. There we go. I actually did that um, a while ago. <laughs> now, let's see. Audio, that's just my video and archives right here it also has zip files and you can look at documents as well you can look at plain text documents rich text uh, formats or RTF and um, PDF files let's see this just look at this one right here it has the uh, index text on here like what the uh, actual PDF file um, encompasses what it contains the contents on here um, but you can do it like how I opened up the video you can extract the files to a um, a folder or and view it like that or you can open it and open it in an external viewer like what I did with the video let's do that it loads up there you go right here and you can just view the files, the formats, and let's go to plain text. Um, these are just regular text files. Oh, oh, oh! Look, it's a deleted one right here. Um, it actually picks up deleted ones. Um, uh, let's see. Click on a deleted file. Um, this was. See what the contents. These are the context of it. Um, let's go to open an external viewer. It's a text file, so this is what comes up. And this is a deleted file. You can tell by the uh, 
symbol, the X on top of a sheet of paper that indicates that that file has been deleted or as we think or the suspect has thought it was he deleted off you can format you can format doing the during different methods of this i'm pretty sure like seven times the um regular uh method and then um you, know, you can format it 30 times i guarantee to you autopsy by the name that it is it will find out it will let's see and um we can look at a GIF. A GIF, see, it, it uh, category, categorizes like many other um, extraction, uh, uh, file extraction uh, software programs. Um, a lot of them have uh, options where you can actually categorize it, especially the mobile forensics ones. They do. Um, let's see, GIF. This is a GIF that I just downloaded on there. You see, um, it's just a, uh, I don't know what type of animal that is. Um, is it a beaver? No, it's not a beaver. I don't know what it is. But this is a gift. See, it plays media that it finds on a hard drive fairly well. Um, and uh, videos, you can view videos. Um, it takes a while for it to load down here. But you can you can play uh, videos. Um jpeg files of course um it also picks up um executable files as well um text yeah text video and uh yeah as you can see it picks up a lot of a lot of good stuff a lot of good stuff where a forensic examiner can use um a forensic examiner has come across uh many instances where a suspect they 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 uh, obtain the suspect's de uh, device um they only have either they only have this m this much amount of time to actually search the device or extract uh the contents of the uh device or the hard drive that the suspect has been using uh they have the applicable search warrant and um so this is a great 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 program that uh many forensic examiners can use to um, examine suspects hard drives As you can see it picks up um, deleted files it plays deleted files uh, let's say if you deleted a video or play that video all you got to do is extract it to the uh, to a folder or you could just open it in an external view viewer as we did uh, it, this this program does a lot of great stuff um, so this to me, I feel like this program um, really encompasses um, a lot of the things that forensic examiners need to uh, that will that will assist the examiners in um, extracting different um, contents off of su a suspect's hard drive, um, so they can hopefully uh, present the viable e evidence in court and put the uh, perpetrator away. Um, and as our professor has said, um, most of the time, um, the forensic examiner doesn't even need to appear in court. Um, his evidence will just speak for itself if he does it the right way. And I feel like this program will help the examiner do things the right way. Um, let's see. And now, now that we've seen what this uh, program can do and what the different contents it can do, it uh displays what it can catch on a hard drive we can go to generate report and we'll generate a report i am actually going to um let's see let me go back let's look at some images let's see i am going to actually add this picture of a bear i am going to I'm going to quick, quick, quick tag it. It's going to add that to my report. And let's get a PDF or plain text. Let's see. My computer's running a little slow. Let's see what else can we put in here? 
I'm going to put let's put a deleted file actually put a deleted file in there that tag file quick tag bookmark and um, you don't have to do quick tags all the time you can actually go to you can actually name the uh, files um, that you've uh, tagged in it so in this case I will I will actually tag this tag and comment comment is going to be deleted random file and let's see let's do a picture another picture let's see here to a picture I'm going to do the dog smiling it's a pretty funny picture I'm going to tag file tag and comment picture of dog smiling okay and I will generate a report and we're doing this just want to generate a regular HTML report and I'll do the tag results and all the tags are listed under book bookmark you can change the name use different names like pictures uh, videos audio whichever you name it I just put them all bookmark for the sake of the video so select bookmark finish and this is where it's going to be saved that and you can click on this to actually open your report and this is the report right here and as you can see the case number uh, the case the examiner which is me um, has, let's see tag images has the tag images right here you can actually click on the image and it opens it up let's go back and then um, tagged files um, you can actually open this it saves it automatically and let's um random doc it's just it's just the uh blank document that's all that is um yeah and that is how you work autopsy the different um has as you can see it has many features that will help assist forensic examiners in uh catching um in uh, acquiring evidence to uh, present in court um, and hopefully catch a suspect. Thank you.